Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing a phone microscope. Yes, you heard it right. This is a magnifying lens for smartphones with a 60 to 100x magnification capability. I bought this from my usual gearbest.com for about $10. Let's have a look at it now. It just arrived in this plastic packaging with a sticker saying 100x. Inside, we have a clip which is used to attach the lens to the phone. and the lens which came inside this leather pouch. Let's have a closer look at the lens. On the top it has this part which is to be screwed on to the clip. This is the part which faces the camera on your phone. On the bottom is a clear plastic case with a small hole. It also has a small LED inside which provides extra light onto the subject under it. On one side it has two knobs. This one is for focus and the second one is for zoom. It can be adjusted from 60x to 100x. As you can see, when I turn this knob, this part moves in and out. So basically you can change the magnification by just pulling this whole thing down when it is attached to your phone. Although I have to say this part is pretty loose and moves freely for about 2 mm. And here is a removable cover which holds 3 small batteries for the light. It seems bulky but is actually pretty lightweight. I'll go ahead now and screw the lens onto the clip. And now you can just clip on this whole thing onto your smartphone camera. I wish the spring on this clip was a little stronger so it had a better grip on phones which have cameras at a corner like an iPhone. Anyways, now all you have to do is find the subject you want to magnify. I couldn't find much so I just grabbed a chocolate chip cookie lying around. Launch your phone camera and with the lens in place hold your object in front of the lens. As you can see, the zoom is so intense that you can even see the crevices on the surface of the cookie. You might notice that the whole image has a bluish tint and it seems like there are tiny drops of water on the cookie surface. But all this is just a result of reflection caused by the extra bright LED. To solve this, I switched off the built-in LED of the lens and instead placed a table lamp facing the clear plastic end of the lens. This provides enough light from outside to see the object clearly while avoiding unwanted reflection. You can see the difference between both the images here. Now holding the mobile phone with the lens on it and then trying to focus can get quite tricky and you might not get a very stable and clear image. Since the focal point of the lens is so tiny, it really needs some steady hands to get a nice shot. Considering all of this, I came up with my own makeshift microscope stand. I grabbed a Gorilla tripod with a phone adapter I had lying around and adjusted it in such a way that the lens is just about a millimeter or two above the surface. I also made some slides out of plain white paper. Now all I have to do is place my object on the slide and slide it under the lens. This makes it way easier to focus and get a clear picture or video. Another idea which popped up was to put a small drop of white candle wax on the LED and let it cool down a bit. This will help the light diffuse. I didn't try it out but I'm pretty positive it'll work. Now you can sit back and enjoy some magnified goodness.
I tried to record a small ant in action, but the focal point of the lens is so small that I couldn't keep up with it. This is the best shot I could get. Although it needs some patience to use and can get pretty frustrating at times with either the lens slipping off the phone or just being shaky in general, I still think it's a fun tool and you would love it if you like to get into the details of tiny things. It might even prove to have some practical use. That's it for now guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews, hacks and facts. If there's anything I missed about this gadget, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like my page on Facebook at facebook.com slash mybooth. I put a link to that in the description below. Click on the thumbnails to view my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.